In the meantime, the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, TET Fund, has expended 185 billion naira on the training of 35,000 scholars in public tertiary institutions across the country under its academic staff training scheme, which commenced in the year 2008. This was disclosed in Abuja, where the representatives of TET Fund Scholars Alumni Steering Committee were received. Helen Osamede Akins reports. The Academic Staff academic Training staff. and Development Grants is an intervention grant offered by the Tertiary Education Trust Fund and open for utilization by academic staff of Nigerian tertiary institutions for higher degrees and bench work programs. The grants support beneficiaries to pursue master's and PhD degrees in Nigerian universities or any higher ranking foreign institution. The fund over the years have been committed to these mandates with 35,000 Nigerian lecturers having benefited so far from the project, which is the second in expenditure after infrastructure projects of the fund. The acting director of academic staff training and development sought the executive secretary's approval to have a third fund scholars alumni to help identify areas of specialization and pull them into a critical mass of knowledgeable workforce and change agents for the development of the nation. On what you can do, the benefits that the government can derive, that the people of Nigeria can derive, from the investment made in you to acquire higher qualifications. That should be your focus. Also targeting for the formation of Ted Pond Scholars Alumni Journal to prevent, sir, it's very key, to prevent or curtail intellectual flight. Because if you'll agree with me that by this time, whatever they want to publish, in most cases it used to be in journals outside the country, and is open to everybody. Appreciating the fund for the opportunities given them, the beneficiary lecturers say they have decided to come back to the nation to provide their mentor and showcase to the world that the dream of that fund was a well-taught intention. People have learned skills, learned knowledge. This is the time to translate that knowledge to a national world. Other people are waiting for us to begin to pass skills over to them, and we are ready because we believe that that fund is ever ready. The fund promises to support the scholars whenever they need help and advise them to develop a database that will have all the names of the beneficiaries and their areas of specialization as a starting point. Helen Osamede Akins, TVC News, Abuja.